Shark here with another ch chit chat video. Um, yeah, I think it's been I'm trying to do these like quarterly, so I think it's around like the quarter -ish since the last time uh, I posted my last chit chat video. So, yeah, a lot of stuff has been going on. Um, one big thing to note is I finally completed another gaming library in the collection. Um, I'm not going to spoil it on this thing, but most people I talk to already know what game I picked up, which was a heavy hit on my wallet, but I'm just glad it's over with. Oh my god, it's been like, what, 10 years searching for this goddamn game? Oh, the worst. So I'm glad I finished that collection. Don't have to worry about that. It's one last thing I have to buy. And, uh, yeah. So, so um, I basically used, like, the extra stimulus money to help me out with that one. Um, right now I'm going pretty hard on the Game Gear. I totally forgot about the Codemaster games. They're the worst to get. Like, it's funny when you... When you talk about, like, collecting for Game Gear, everyone's like, Oh, Mega Man! I'm like, I already have Mega Man. That's no big deal. But <clears throat> it's the Codemaster games you have to worry about. There's five of them, which I thought if there was four, but I forgot about Micro Machines. So I picked up uh, one Codemaster's games, which I actually I think I'm going to actually play through. I just was testing a little bit, and it's actually a really neat game. It's uh, the Cosmic uh, Spacehead. It's really neat. It's like um, a point-and-click adventure mixed with the uh, action platformer. So it's kind of neat, actually. I'm like, wow, this is kind of an interesting mix of gameplay. Um, yeah, I'm currently, uh, I did my, uh, was it my video response to uh, Fem Trooper, and after I did that, I ended up uh, started started to play uh, through Saints Row Three. Saints Row the Third, technically. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying that game. Uh, there's some annoying parts in that game, but I'm chugging along through it. I think I'm like have to be like at least like 80 percent done the game. I'm probably not going to 100 percent it because I know they have a lot of side missions and all that nonsense. So. <clears throat> I've been doing a mix, I've been doing a mix of like, not really side missions, but like buying like all the properties, because the more properties you buy in the game, the more income you get within like an hour period in, in, of the in-game hour. So I've been doing that so I could get a lot of upgrades and whatnot. But yeah, I've been chugging along through that. Um, right now, I'm, uh, I think the last mission I'm on, I, I died because I was what, super unprepared for it. You have to, like, destroy all, like, go through, like, all these different areas and destroy, like, like, all the different gangs are, like, fighting. It's like the apocalypse pretty much. They have to go in and, like, defeat all the different sections. And they just keep respawning enemies. I'm like, what the fuck? I had, like, no weapons. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna beat this mission at all. So that was, like, the last time I played it. But, um, definitely look forward to uh, chugging through that. Not sure what game I want to play next. I might start uh, Watch Dogs. Feels like this year is like going to be the year of like open world games for me. Because I already beat Bully. I'm playing through Saints Row the Third now. Then I have probably go through Watch Dogs 1 and 2. They're both open world. And then, um, I don't know what else. Yeah, I don't know. And then I go from there. But yeah, um, definitely going to play through uh, Cosmic Space Side. That game's actually short. It's only an hour long. From Or no, an hour. It's like an hour and like 20 minutes long, which isn't too bad. It's kind of an interesting game. And I think the last Game Gear game I beat was like maybe a year or two years ago. It was a Virtual Fighter animation. So it's been a little bit since I've beaten... Uh, Game Gear game, so I'll probably uh, play through it. And uh, my friend Jay and I, we've been chugging along through the Zelda series. Right now, we're on uh, Links to the Past. No, 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 no sorry, we beat that game. <laughs> um, wait, one. Um, shit, 
Which game is that we're playing? Um, oh, Link's Awakening. That's what we're playing. Unfortunately, I don't have the the re the re um the the, the, the Switch remake. Otherwise, we would probably play through that one. But we're playing the old school Game Boy version. It's been a while since I played that. I think I know I last time I played that was with when we had it through uh, game clubs. I was still uh, living in the old condo at the time, so it's been quite a while. Like I don't know, some I mean some of it I do remember. But a lot of them, like, oh, crap, I forgot about this part. I think we should have, if anything, I think we should have played at least the DX version, because I think I have that on the, um, on the PlayStation Classic, but, oh, well, it is what it is. Because I think, yeah, the DX, you get that extra, uh, level that you can visit, which I think is optional. I can't remember. But, yeah, so I've been playing through that, and, uh, I end up, um, everything was great, and then, uh, now I end up injuring myself this weekend. I was, uh, working out with my girlfriend, and, um, she has, uh, these, like, adjustable, like, um, barbell weights. They just put in a stack, and you, like, rotate, like, the, um, handle to select what, uh, weight you want. So we were on, like, our last, we were doing, like, a, um, a kind of like a, um, not like a marathon type thing where you like you have to like you're timed and you have to like rush through different uh, exercises and uh, yeah so we were in the last one and I wanted to get a uh, like a 15 pound weight instead of the 10 pound weight for like the last one and st stupid me I was wearing socks I wasn't wearing like shoes so that's one stupid thing <laughs> so then I I uh, put it to like 15 and I lifted it up. And as I went to, like, move it to my side, the, the, I guess the one, the one weight stuck, and it didn't, it didn't, like, come out of the, uh, the weight holder, and, uh, it just, like, fell, and it landed on my, uh, cuticle on my toe. So now, like, my toe's, like, all busted, my toenail's all busted up, it's, like, black and blue, but, uh, fortunately, I, I don't think I broke it since I can, I can still wiggle my toe, but it's, like, really all, it's, like, super puffy, and, oh, uh, it sucks. My girlfriend was complaining, she's like, you should go to the ER, or the, uh, one of those 24-hour, uh, hospitals, I forget the name of them, but, the uh, urgent cares. I'm like, no, I'm, I should be fine. Like, last night, I think it was excruciating last night, because I, I was on my feet, all day at work yesterday, so I think, like, me being on my feet definitely isn't helping at all, but when I wake up, it's fine, like, right now, it seems fine, like, it, it's kind of, like, starting to, like, tingle, like, kind of, like, getting that itchy feeling, you know, like, when you were, like, a kid, and you, like, got, uh, got, like, a cut, and then, like, it would start, it would start scabbing and itching, I think that's what it's starting to do, so... So hopefully it's healing itself. I, I, I'm just gonna do like a home remedy. Like it, it looks bad, but I don't think it's anything. I mean, just the nail portion. It's not like the actual toe itself. So I think I'm just gonna like do like a home remedy. I'm just gonna like soak it in Epsom salt when I get home tonight for like 15 minutes, and I'll dry it off for another 15, and just like, like, just wipe a bunch of antibacterial ointment on it. And then just call it a day. I'll just keep doing that every night. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure the nail's just gonna eventually pop off. But yeah, it sucks. I'm, I'm, I think my, I'm mainly pissed because that nail, it had like toenail fungus and it just finished clearing up. Like it looked like a, a normal nail for like forever. And now it looks like a piece of shit nail. And probably now, it's probably going to grow back, like, all, like, gross and fungusy now. So that's, a, that's fucking great. <sighs> Shit sucks. So, so yeah, I'm dealing with that as of recently. Um, I'm excited that people have been enjoying my, uh, retro commercials. I actually, like, I think last week I, like, was, I think I was working from home and I 
was like kind of like bored, so I ended up like rendering a whole bunch of different commercials. <coughs> I've been trying to make sure they're like in good quality, because there's a lot of them like I see on YouTube. Like that's where I get them from is YouTube. Everyone's like, where do you get these get these uh, videos from? I was like, I just take them from YouTube. That's it. There's no like secret site that I know of that ha that has like a library of these. I just get them from YouTube. And I like I'll, I'll download like multiple versions and I'll just pick like the best version out of all of them. Um, unfortunately I did do a version of uh, Pickaxe, Pickaxe Pete for the Odyssey 2 and I rendered it and everything thinking that was the best version and then like later I found a better version. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. I mean, it's not too much better, but like you can make out like it's not less pixelated. I'm like, eh, eh, whatever. Fuck it. I already rendered it. I don't know. I mean, it's, those things, the good thing about making those uh, uh, commercials is it takes like five minutes to render. It doesn't take long at all. So. I don't know, I might go back and re-render it. I did save the better quality version of it, so I don't know. We'll see. But, but yeah, I'm excited people have been enjoying that. Um, but, uh, yeah, other than that, I've been just playing through Saints Row. Um, it's actually, I don't, it's a good game, but I don't think it's as... I think out of all... All the three that I played, Saints Row 1, 2, and 3rd, I think the second one was, like, the best one. Now, I heard Saints... I have Saints Row 4 as well. I might start that one. I heard that's, like, really wacky. Like, that's the thing that's... I think that's why I always loved the Saints Row series as opposed to, like, the Grand Theft Auto series. Is it? The game doesn't take itself seriously at all. Like... I'm playing through the third one, and it's, like, crazy. I'm like, holy shit, this game is nuts. But in a good way, it's really, really interesting. So, like, I think, like, the Grand Theft Autos, they're, they're too serious. I can't deal with that shit. And, um, but, like, yeah, like, the, the Saint Row, it's, like, it's enjoyable, I think. So, I mean, there's some parts that are, like, super annoying. There's, like, some missions that are, like... There's a couple that were, like, really long. I'm like, man, I'm still on this fucking mission? Like, can I finish it? One thing that was frustrating, I'll say, in that game is the... The, uh... What is it? The fall... Fall damage. Oh, my God. Like, because it's, like, the one part... There's some parts where you drive a helicopter and you have to, like, land on different buildings. And I, I was just, like, hovering, like, over. And I just pressed... Why and I like fell like a little bit and died. I'm like, what the fuck? How the hell did I die this far down? Like, it's not even that far. So that was a little frustrating. I'm like, you know what? I'll just land the fucking helicopter and actually get out so <laughs> I don't die. And there's other parts where like I fell off the like the fucking buildings because uh, like the controls were like a little messed up and I'm like, oh shit wasn't paying attention, I'd fall off the building and have to start the damn mission over again. I'm like, son of a bitch. Ugh. What a pain. But, but yeah, I'm excited to finally have another complete set in my uh, collection. And so, uh, it was supposed to arrive yesterday, but it didn't. But I, I just got a notification, it was like, arriving early, and I looked at the dates today. So, we'll see if it comes today, hopefully. I don't know. So then I can make uh, another uh, video. And since I bought that, like, I have been, like, not really buying much. Because I've been, like, I'm like, I'm fucking, I need to, I need to settle down. But then again, like, I've been like, shit, I really need to buy, like, the, I'm trying to finish the damn Codemaster games for, uh, Game, game Gear, because if, after I get those Codemaster games, it'll be, like, smooth sailing, collecting the rest. I mean, there are a couple hard-won, like, ex annoyingly expensive games that are around, like, the 40-ish 
dollar mark, which I, I consider this fucking obnoxious. I'm like, oh, damn it. $40 for one fucking Game Gear game? Come on. Ugh. But they're the good they're good games though, so I mean at least I'm getting a good decent game. Like the one game uh is um the devilish game. I believe that's the Castlevania clone. Or it's vampire. I can't remember. It's either one of them. They're around like the forty dollar mark. So yeah, I got uh plan on picking those guys up soon. The one end up the one some it end up selling. I'm like, damn it. Someone bought that. But I plan to get devilish because right now the one I'm watching is like the cheapest. It's, I think it's like 40 bucks. Like the next one up is like $80. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is there like a huge jump in the fucking price? So I'm just gonna I'm like I'm I'd rather just get the cheapest one available and be done with it. So I plan to get that one, hopefully. And, and then there's the other, trying to get these Codemaster games. I've been trying to get uh, Pete Sampras Tennis, but everyone keeps buying them. I'm like, who's buying all these fucking Game Gear games? Like, I thought, who, who cares about Game Gear? I thought I was the only one that gave a, sh gave a shit about Game Gear. Apparently not. Ugh, it's frustrating. So... And hopefully I can just bang out those annoying... That's my main goal right now, is to bang out those annoying games. And then I'll probably relax on the Game Gear, because considering that, like, okay, I've got all the heavy hitters, and i got all the heavy hitters. All I have to worry about is the commons, and maybe some more annoying-ish... Uh, some of the annoying-ish games, but other than that... Should, I should be smooth sailing to get the rest of the collection. I mean, I'm, I'm a little only... I don't have that much. I'm only, like, slightly a little halfway. A little over the halfway mark. But, yeah, so... So, yeah, so... <laughs> that's been, uh... <coughs> it's not all been... All that's been going on. Um, I was, uh... I don't know if I mentioned last time I was in, a. The video game, uh, Dust Leaves Podcast, that was a great time, um, whenever that, uh, airs, I'll, I'll post a link on my, uh, Twitter account so you guys can, uh, check out that video. I, I had a great time, I, my, I, I, I plan to be on, uh, future podcasts, so we'll see what happens, it all depends on, like, like, Chris's schedule and everyone else's schedule, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I got. Um, so, yeah, if you guys, uh, pro tip, if you guys, like, are in, like, a video game slump like I was, just make a video of your backlog. <laughs> then I'll be like, what the fuck? Like, how am I in a video game slump when I have all these fucking backlog games to play? So, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, I think yeah, that's all I got for this time around. Um, I, I plan to, oh yeah, I'm also getting my, uh, first shot of the code vaccine right before, uh, vacation. So, I, I heard the first shot isn't bad, it's the second one you have to worry about, so, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna figure I get that right before vacation, because depending on what shot you get, if I get the two-shot one, you have to go back, like, three weeks, so I planned it, so I'll be back from vacation when I need the second shot. So, so yeah, so that should be fun, and then I don't have to worry, that'll be one less thing I have to worry about. So, yeah, guys, uh, hope everyone's staying safe, doing well, and, uh, till next time, Smart the Game Shark signing out. Have a good day.